Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to find where Olama stores downloaded models on Linux systems. But before I start with explanations I need to mention the following. I created this video tutorial mainly because it took me quite some time to figure out where Olama stores downloaded models. Consequently, to save your time I created this video tutorial so you don't need to waste time like I did. Ok, let's start. If you want to inspect the downloaded models or if you want to properly uninstall Olama, it's very important to know where Olama stores the models on the local computer. Olama stores models in models folder that contains these two subfolders. We will have model blobs subfolder and manifests subfolder. Model blobs folder stores large files that store the model parameters and data of a model. The parameters of a model are stored as blobs so that they can be reused between different models that share various prompts. Then, in manifests folder, we have files that contain met metadata and other files that specify the architecture and configuration of the model. The main issue is how to find these folders and corresponding files. Well, how the models are downloaded. When you run, for example, Olama run Llama 3.18b or Olama run Llama 3.1 latest or even if you try to pull by using these two commands such as Olama run Llama 3.18b, model files will be stored in the default folders set by Olama. Let us find where are these folders. First of all, let's open a terminal. Click here and search for terminal. OK, over here I'm going to resize the terminal such that you can see what I'm typing. The first step is to install this very useful tool for searching files. First run this, enter your password and after that run this to update the database of this tool. OK, let's continue. This tool is used to search for Olama files. Consequently, over here, type p locate and search Olama. And let's press enter and let's see the output. Here it is. Here are all the folders as well as files that contain Olama either as a name or a part of the name. For example, you can see that this folder contains this file that contains Olama. So all of these folders are actually installation folders of Olama. And when you try to install Olama, it's very important that all these files are raised from the system. I will explain this in the next video tutorial. Okay, so let's scroll down and let's see what's happening over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we have here binaries good meta meta let's go down let's go down let's go down we should see models somewhere okay so where are the models here they are you can see clearly the blobs folder and you can see the manifest folder however we don't need to search like this we can use another command that is we can use grab grab command so here it is we can actually take this output over here and filter it then we can actually use grep and specify that, that we just want to display hits that contain models. That is, this command will, con will actually display both Olama as a name and models. So let's see this and here it is. Now we filter the models. Consequently, here is the folder that contains the models. So let's go to this folder. We can do it like this. Here it is. And now let's see where we are. Obviously, the path is correct. We are in var, snap, olama, common models. So let's see the structure of this folder. Here it is. We have blobs and we have manifests. Over here, I will actually double check by using olama the models. So I will type olama list. 
and this, sh this should list actually the installed models. I can see that I only have one model since these two IDs are equal. Consequently, we should expect to see the model whose files are around 4.7 GB. Let's visually inspect these folders. To visually inspect these folders, we need to run Nautilus or the file explorer. We do it like this and it's very important to run it from this model folder. We achieve that by typing nautilus. or nautilus period. So execute this and here we are. Okay, so let's look into the blobs folder. Let's select all the files and we can see that the files are 4.7 gigabyte. Perfect. Good. So these are the actual model files of the model that's actually displayed over here. Very important conclusion. Next, if you click here, you can go to manifest, you can go here, library, llama, and you can see actually these meta files. Here they are. Perfect. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 650 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning, control engineering, robotics, mathematics, linear algebra, optimization, C++, and Python. So make sure that you check all these videos or the videos that are interesting from your perspective. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.